Today we're going to look at how to recover a Firestore Firebase database from a storage bucket from Google Cloud Platform. Welcome to DevWorld, my name is Sam and last time we learned how to create a backup for your Firebase Firestore database. Today we're going to learn how to actually recover that database in case something really goes wrong with your Firestore Firebase database. So here in our storage bucket we have the folder with our backup file. We generated that last time. If you haven't seen the video last time, make sure to watch the video and come back to this one to learn how to recover that file. So to get started, let's go to the main page of Google Cloud Platform. And first what we have to do is we have to activate the shell and that's how we do this. Now we have our shell open and confirm that we have the right project. If we have that, let's go to storage browser and this is our storage bucket for the backups and then as we can see we only have one folder here and this is the folder that holds the data that we want to recover but first let's simulate that something bad actually happened so I'll delete a couple of documents and to see what happens if we change a title here before we recover Let's change the title and let's remember which ID the item had. Then also to see what happens with the recovery, let's add a document here. And let's also add another collection. Now we should get a good overview of what's actually going to happen when we recover the file. Before we do that, let's go to the documentation. Let's navigate to import data. And there are some things that you have to know before you actually recover the data. When you import data, the required indexes are updated using your database current index definitions. So what that means, if you have special indexes, just make sure after the recovery that they all work and that they're all up to date. Then the second thing is imports do not assign new document IDs. Imports use the IDs captured at the time of the export. So what that means is that these IDs won't change. And documents with these IDs will be overwritten with the recovered data. So the current data will be overwritten with the recovered data. But we will have a look what that actually means. That's why we changed the title here. Then if a document in your database is not affected by an import, it will remain in your database after the import. So what that means is new school has nothing to do with the recovered file. So this should stay here. Same thing with the collection we just added. But again, we will see that in real life afterwards. Then there's some other important things you have to know in regards to cloud functions and to your usage and billing account. But make sure to read the documentations before you actually recover data. The link to the documentation is in the description down below. So let's go to our Google Cloud Platform. So before we actually recover the data, let's make sure that we have a current state of our database before we actually recovered it in our storage bucket. To do that, we use this command, gcloud firestore export, and then the name or location of our storage bucket. So in our case, this is gs colon double slash and the name of our storage bucket where we want the export to go. So let's click enter. And now if we toggle here back and forth to refresh the page, we can see a second folder has been created. So this is the folder that we just created and this is the recovery folder we want to recover the files afterwards. If you want, you can skip this step, but this was just to make sure that we have an actual copy of the current database. So let's now import the file of this folder onto our current database. We can actually have a real time look at this. So let's put the database on the side. So the command we want to use for that is gcloud firestore and this time not export, but import. Then again, gs colon double slash. And then we go to the folder where we want to recover the file. And what we can do is copy and paste this path and paste it in down here. So we can see we have here the bucket name and also the export prefix. Then let's now click enter and then we should see real time on the right side that the database will be changing. And now we can see some things changed. So let's open up our database 
and we can see the deleted documents have been added again. But we can also see that new school hasn't been deleted. Also the collection that we added here was not deleted. So if you want to have a full reset, you have to empty the Firestore before you import the data. Let's have a look what happens to our title. This was the ID where we changed the title. And here we can see that the title actually has been reverted. So if this ID exists, as I said in the beginning, this data will be overwritten by the recovered file. And now we successfully recovered our database. Be also aware that every operation has its operation ID. And with different commands, you can find out different things with this operations ID. More about that in the docs. So this was how to recover and import your backup from your storage bucket. Make sure to thoroughly test your application after restoring the database. This was it for this video. I hope it helped. If you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, I always appreciate a like. See you in the next one.